what up YouTube it's your girl Danny Nicole your first generation crafter and I am back with another video this will be my last video of the night y'all so I finally put together a recipe book y'all I went to May May made it I went to her channel I saw this recipe book years ago and I was like you know what I am going to make this recipe book and I did it, y'all. And I'm going to tell you something. I'll never do it again. This book, I had to been at least working on this recipe book for at least five to six hours. May May said it took her about three to four hours. And, you know, and she's a pro. And, oh, my gosh, it took half the freaking day, y'all. I am not lying. But this is my recipe book. I finally made it. Let me see if I can pick it up. Real cute. Ooh, I'm sorry. Real cute. I got the paper packs from Hobby Lobby in Tuesday morning. There, I don't, I can't remember the name of it, but the, um, they were paper packs um, in Hobby Lobby. It was the one, you know, the ones that hang up and they're like maybe 12 pages. And then it has a bunch of stickers in it. I think it was like at least $9.99. And then I also went to Tuesday morning and got a little uh, paper pack from them also. I think that was like $2.99 or whatever. So, yeah, this is the front of the book. So, I'm going to go ahead and open it. This is the front cover. And this is how I decorated it. And they had like little cutouts from the um, paper pack. So, I just cut this out. They had recipe cards in the paper pack, so I just made a little pocket. So if you had like loose recipe cards, or if you, you know, clip some recipes from a magazine or something like that, you could just stick those down in here. May May made her pockets a little bit different, but you know what? I, I'm telling y'all, I just could not, I couldn't do it, y'all. So this is the first tab. So I have four tabs. So, it's your decision on how <clears throat> you want to um, line your tabs up. It could be mama's recipes, grandma's recipes, aunt's recipes, you know, great, great grandma's recipes or something like that. Or breakfast, lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. Or it could be um, dinner, sides, um, what do you call it, uh, desserts. And this could be just something extra or however you want to make it. But this is my first tab. And I just decorated it with the paper pack and some stickers that came out of the paper pack. I also made another pocket. So you can stick loose recipe cards in there. And I put a recipe card here. And the reason why this isn't covered up is because the book wouldn't close properly. So I had to cut the paper down um, the little red line. Okay. So this is the back of that first tab. I just decorated with stickers. And then over here, I divided the, this is a, actually a composition notebook. I, did the, I divided it, um, I think maybe 20 to 25 pages each. So you'll write all your recipes here. Opens up to the second tab. So the second tab can be whatever you want it to be. Um, like I said, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, or whatever. Same thing. This is a pocket. Now you can put your recipes, uh, loose recipe cards in there. And this is the back of that first tab. And then I got my recipes over here. So flip those pages. And here is my third tab. I love this background right here. And this is actually glued in, but this is still a pocket. Real cute. So flip that over. I love the way I decorated this tab. This is real cute. This is the back of the third tab. Then I got my recipes over here. Then flip it over to the last tab. I love these little stickers here. These are stickers. Stickers and then the floral is the, um, the, the decorative paper. Then got another recipe card. You can write a recipe here. And then you can also put um, some loose recipes inside the pocket. 
and this is the um, <clears throat> back of that last tab. Ooh, real cute. I even decorated the back of the tabs because they give you a lot of stickers to work with. And write all your recipes on this side. I haven't filled them with recipes yet. Um, I'm still um, trying to get some recipes from my mom. She wrote a few in here. And I'm going to get some from my mom, my sister, and my boyfriend. I'm going to fill all of this up. And hopefully, you know, this could be like a family recipe book that we could just keep for generation after generation, y'all. Hopefully, it'll last that long. And this is the back page. I love this print. It's real cute. And then I put a little sticker on the mixer. The kids loved it. Another recipe card out of the pack. Now, um, <clears throat> this little this brown sheet is just um, card stock that I wanted to add. Um, so the recipe card would have a border. So it would kind of stand out from the paper. And then we got the very back of the book. And it just has measurements. So that's real cute. Real cute. I tried to use my Distress ink like May May was using hers. But I didn't have an ink pad or what. I mean, uh, not an ink pad, but like a sponge. I tried my best. I mean, some of it is uneven. But you know what? I did it and I'm proud of it. And it's cute. And I love it. And I'm going to use it. And when I get done, you know, maybe it'll get keep getting passed down. And I did it, y'all. It took me four, um, like five to six hours to finish this book. And it came out real cute. Even though it has a lot of flaws, but I do not care, y'all. Oh, whew, I would never. I, you know what? I said, I'll make this recipe book. And maybe, you know, once I, once I get into um, selling at craft fairs, I was like, you know what? I can make more of these, but... I just do not see myself making another book like this. It was so time consuming. It was so time consuming. And I just don't think that I can do it. So that's it, y'all. I just wanted to show y'all, show you guys my recipe book. Um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.